So, Netivot Shalom, and we, we're doing actually the last uh, parsha, right? With Zot Abracha. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I uh, I need to to see if I can find the author of the book. There was a book that I was uh, learning from, and uh, suddenly I noticed that he has Parashat Nitzavim, uh, Vayelech, and then he have uh, Rosh Hashanah, Kippur, Sukkot. And I'm asking myself, <laughs> where is Azino and Zot Abracha? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't write anything about them. And, uh -huh. uh, again, these are the two parshiot that are most neglected, I think, in the Torah and they're very important. Right, the last day of Moshe. So we say here, and, and that's the pasuk toward the end, actually. Uliene Kol Israel, and it says the pasuk. The verse says, "Ule Kol Ayada Chazaka, the mighty hand, and all the the, the great fear." that Moshe did in front of the eyes of Bnei Israel. And this Pasuk actually concludes the Torah, the Holy Torah. And in the last Pasuk, for certainly, for sure, right, it's uh, like uh, Hashem uh, embedded or, or, or planted the uh, secrets of the Torah. In the Torah Tavot, he said on this Pasuk, Le'enei kol Israel, it's an acronym, Lam et chaf en yud, keli, like a vessel. And also, the last letters, of the Torah, the last letter is Israel, right? The word Israel, so the last letter is Lamed. And the first letter of the Torah, it's Bereshit Bara, right? So it's Bet. So together it's Lev, a heart. Which means, what is a vessel really to receive the holiness of the Torah? It's the heart. In the Bet Avraham, he said, Asher Asa Moshe Le'enei, to the eyes of Bnei Israel, he said that Moshe Rabbeinu elevated the visibility or the Riyah of Klal Israel. And these and the other things are the Vrei Lokim Chaim, they both. And it said in Masechet Avot, right? So we have in uh, Masechet Avot, Amar Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai le Talmidah, right? So Rabbi Yochanan asked his Talmidim, what is a good path that a, a person should uh, cleave to, to on, right? So Rabbi Eliezer ben Ukana says, a good eye, right? And so on and so on, and, and then and then all the other ones that said uh, a good neighbor, a good this, a good that, right? But Rabbi Elazar ben Arach Omer Lev Tov. And then he says, oh, a good heart, actually including everything, a good eye, a good neighbor, a good brother, etc. So a good heart, including everything. He said the same way in Hanaga Gashmit, on the physical level of a person, when the heart is actually a, a, the source, right, of, of of the vitality of living because if the heart doesn't work, that's it. The person will die, right? Of course, we have the heart and everything, but the pump is the, the an important thing, right? So that's the source of the vitality of a person and also the eye, right? In Masechet Nedarim, our sages said that the suma, a blind person, is considered to be like a dead person. Right, that is patur for many things. So the same way it's on the physical level, the same way it's on the spiritual level. So a good eye and a good heart are the main key of a spiritual life. Really, that's and that's very difficult. Always to look at people with a good eye, not to criticize, not to judge. <laughs> Most difficult thing. And also a good heart. But he said that these are the main key of a spiritual life. Right, we know what is Ainara, right? That even when somebody doesn't want, even a, a, a parent to a child can cause an Ainara. Very difficult to, to, to be clear for a as I said, you says, Ain right? The eye see and the heart desire, and then the body eventually finishing the job. And from the other side, it could be also a good source, a good eye. That each and every person that he see, he see the good good things, right? So the, the evil eye, the eye nara, see only the bad thing of a person, but the, a good eye, always looking at the good things on his friend, family, etc. The Anagata Bore, how Hashem is doing, right? Never ask, why why I deserve it? Why are you doing it to me, right? And he's always happy with what he have, happy with his share, and how the Kadosh Baruch, Hu, how Hashem is behaving with him. And the beginning of perfection of a person, it's a good eye. And according to that, okay, but there's also it's a good heart. 
that his heart is always clean and he always sees the good parts on the people. And again, this is the main key for spiritual life. Right? Of course, if that if a person has a good eye and a good heart, then always he is pleased with what Hashem is bringing to him. He wrote in Lekutesh Hashanim that that middle, the level of a person that is always happy with his share, right? He said it's a midah klalit. It's a midah klalit. It's including something, right? And it's it's creating wonders in the heart of a person because to see always the good things and to be happy with what you have, bring the person to this world, then you have Gan Eden, you have heaven in this world. If you always see everything good and you're always happy with what you have, and also bring him to the Olam Abba. And this is what the Torah is actually concluding. Asher Israel, acronym Kli, a vessel, which a good eye and a good heart, that's the vessel actually to receive the Torah, and these are the principle of Judaism, or for a Jew. And which Chag we have now, and this holy Chag, right, it's always falling on Sukkot, right? We're happy with the Torah, because actually not only that we are happy about Sukkot, that Hashem, whatever the Machloket is, whether if it is Ananei Akavod, the clouds, or whether if it was literally real Sukkot, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. They're all being provided by Hashem. Hashem providing us physical things and spiritual things. And in this Chag, we have to be very happy. Hashem took us from Egypt, right? Because Sukkot, basically, it's after the redemption of Egypt. And also receiving the Torah, 40 days after we left Egypt. And in Sukkot, we have them both. The appreciation of what Hashem did to us and the happiness. And then we have the receiving the Torah. And we're really happy with the Torah in Simchat Torah. And this is how actually the Torah is concluding. So if you would really like to receive, want to receive the Torah, you need to have a good eye and a good heart and be happy, happy, happy. Right? She so said, and that's why in this holy Chag, the Jews, but the way, the past to, to, to receive the Torah, it's again to, to uh, prepare the vessel for the Gedusha, for the good eye and a good heart. And according to that, Right, we need to explain what it says. Marana Saba Kadosh Milochovit Zakhoto Yelenu on the Pasuk Vechaga Asif Kufata Shana. So we know that the Chagim they have so many spiritual uh, secrets, but also they have a very simple Pshatim. So one of the Pshat for uh, Sukkot is that the harvest, right? We're harvesting the, the this, this, this is the, the holy day of harvesting. Very simple, right? <laughs> but he said, no, no, yeah, of course, that's on the Pshat. But on the spiritual level, yes, we, we are harvesting, we are gathering. We have to gather many things here so on a spiritual level that will be uh, uh, sufficient for us for the entire year. Tekifut Babodat Hashem, to be with the strength serving Hashem and to be strong fighting the evil inclination. And all of these things we need to harvest and we can get from this the harvest Chag, Chag Asif. And he says, and why really truly this Chag is Chag Asif? this time of year and not the other time because this time right because is man simchatenu right that the torah mentioned only for sukkot right right which is a simcha we are commanded to be happy as the rambam wrote right in hot lulav of course we need to be happy in all the chagim but in in sukkot we have an extra joy extra happiness because really we are happy and we are we are, we are enjoying with Hashem. Hashem is with us, of course, in this holy Chag, and specifically in Simcha Torah. And that Simcha is working, really, it's, it's creating something within us and bringing us to this world and to the world to come. And therefore, it's called Chag Asif because we're gathering, we're gathering the Simcha, we're gathering many things for the time of the year. And in Torah Tavot, this I said on the Pasuk, Zotit Palel, so this is the what the Hasid, right? The one that walked the extra mile should be praying for you, Hashem, for that, which means Motzei Shabbat, right? The end of Shabbos, and the end of Yom Tov. We, we're davening, we, we're praying to Hashem with what's in it for us, what we, what we are taking with us after we're leaving Shabbat and after we're leaving the Yom Tov. So he said, so the day of Simcha Torah, it's the time of Findings, 
עוד כל ירח האיתנים, right, it's called like the, the, the moon of strength, because now we actually need to receive Kabbalot and uh, to be inspired and to, to promise, right, to, to Hashem, more, mostly, more, mainly for us, to promise that we're going to be better than what we were last year. And this is what the Kabbalot that we need to get. And this is this, this time of, of year that Hashem gave us. Whether if it started from Rosh Chodesh Elul with the preparation for Rosh Hashanah, from Kippur, and, and, and uh, Sukkot is actually the, the peak of the time, to be strong with the mitzvot. And it's also including the level, the midah of Yira and the midah of Ava, right? Fear and love. And this is what we're actually exiting this month, this way. So we need to take with us the midah of Ayn Tova Veleftov and to be happy with what we have, which is very difficult today. When we see what's going on with other people and what they have and the neighbors, etc., etc., but we need to be happy with what we have, and that will bring us to the next world. And then to this world, we will have heaven if really we're going to be. And that's why Hashem concluded the Torah with Kli and Lev, which is the vessel is to be the heart. And this is Bereshit Bara Elokim, Bet Reshit, like the first thing, two things, two Reshit, two first of all. First of all, a good eye, and first of all, a good heart. They always have to go together. And that's the purpose of the, the, the creation and the purpose for us, right? That this is what we actually need to take with us when we're going to say farewell, Tishrei, right? We're finishing with the, uh, the Jewish holiday season. It's not a coincidence that Hashem gather all of this important thing, and it's like step by step, and it's bringing us up and up and up. And this is what we need to take, a good eye and a good heart. And by doing that, we're going to withdraw on ourselves. We're going to have the influence of the Gashmiut and the, and the spiritualism. And this is it. This is a derech tovad. It's a good path, she, the back Adam, that the person should cleave on. Because by doing that, good eye and a good heart, we're cleaving to Hashem. And we can really be happy in Simchat Torah. It's like in the unity with us and Hashem. And that's like the main thing from all of these days that we had, from starting from Rosh Chodesh Elul until Simchat Torah. Shkoyach.